Built properly, a timber bridge can last over 100 years. We currently have great examples of this in covered bridges located in New Brunswick. There are four conditions in order for wood to decay. These conditions include oxygen, moderate temperature, moisture, and a food source for insects. If any of these conditions are removed, decay can be avoided. The easiest of these conditions to control is moisture content. Careful design details that shed water away from the structure and allow airflow for quick drying can keep moisture contents low enough to prevent decay. While it's easy to compare initial construction costs, it's more difficult to predict long-term maintenance costs of the structure. Through a recent research project on timber bridges, it was found that the maintenance costs on the bridge, regardless of the building material, were similar. There are many advantages to timber bridges, which include low initial cost, low self-weight, rapid installation, environmental benefits, and fatigue resistance. If you look at timber bridges built a century ago, they used heavy timbers and used a cover to protect the most susceptible places from moisture damage. Now, modern timber bridges are built using glue lamp technology treated with an oil-based preservative and careful design considerations that allow the structure to keep the moisture content low enough to prevent decay. There's currently a great example of this in New Brunswick, where a century-old covered bridge was retrofitted with glue lamp and reinforced fiber to bring the bridge from a 5-ton low capacity to a 30-ton low capacity and also greatly extended service life. A recent example of a modern timber bridge can be found in Nepan, Nova Scotia, just outside of Amherst. The bridge opened in 2019 and is the longest clear span three-lane design timber bridge in Canada. Typical spans for glue lamb range between 6 to 24 meters with a maximum of 43 meters. If you would like to discuss more about timber bridges, just contact Woodworks or the Canadian Wood Council.